Good day everyone, you're watching Renel Tech Studio. I was lucky that I was able to get my hands on this processor, the AMD Athlon 2 X4635. This processor has 4 cores, 4 threads, with a clock speed of 2.9 GHz and 95 Watt TDP. This processor is released in the first quarter of 2010. Also in that year, Intel releases their first-gen Intel Core i-series processor. Therefore, this means that this is the AMD's answer on Intel's lineup of CPU in 2010. However, this processor can be on AM2 Plus and AM3 socket. Therefore, it can be compatible to the motherboard that I have which is the EMX-AMD 880DS3-Pro which has AM3 socket. If you watch my videos, this is the motherboard that I use for Athlon 2 X2 250 build that only has 2 cores and 2 threads. In this case, this processor can be an upgrade option on that system. In order to find out that this is an upgrade option, I will install first the processor to AMD 880 motherboard to see if it fits. Luckily, it fits. Now I'll go ahead and install two sticks of 4 gigs RAM, which is 8 gig in total, clocked at 1600 MHz. Then GTX 660 as my graphics card, SSD for boot drive, hard disk drive, which the games were installed. Speaking of games. I have to run games on this system in order to know its full performance and compare it to Athlon 2 X2 250's performance. After all of that, our makeshift test bench is complete. Now let's go to gaming. On testing games, I set the graphics to low and resolution to 768p or 720p since this settings has given me playable frame rate when I test the Athlon 2 X2 250 before. In addition, I use MSI afterburner to monitor the stats, props to record the frame rate, and Xbox game capture to record the game. Due to this, the FPS that I record might not be accurate in real world scenario. It might be higher. Therefore, I would consider this as a worst case scenario. Now let's begin. GTA 5 on Athlon 2 X4 635, the average frame rate is 40 and very playable. While on Athlon 2 X2 250, the average frame rate is 29, with an increase in performance of 38%. This game really struggles in Athlon 2 X2 250, but on Athlon 2 X4 635, it really became playable, maybe because of more cores and more threads. CSGO. This game is CPU intensive, which means if it delivers high frame rate, the CPU is powerful. Now on Athlon 2 X4 635, the average frame rate is 42, while on Athlon 2 X2 250, it only has 28 with an increase on performance of 50%. Rainbow Six Siege. This game really needs a good GPU to have higher frame rates. Anyway, GTX 660 still has juice to power modern games. In order to get the average FPS, I run the in-game benchmark test. On Athlon 2 X4 635, the average frame rate is 88, while on Athlon 2 X2 250, it only have 45 average FPS with an increase of performance of 96%.
2 on Athlon 2 X4 635, the average FPS is 54, while on Athlon 2 X2 250 is 45, with an increase of performance of 20%. I was really puzzled at this game because on my previous test with the Athlon 2 X2 250, the average FPS is about 72. But since the recent upgrades of this game, it seems that the frame rates are lower. of survival or ROS. This is one of the popular games played here in the Philippines. I observed that there are players that stream this on Facebook. Anyway, on Athlon 2 X4 635, the average FPS is 41, while on Athlon 2 X2 250 is 33, with an increase of performance of 24%. PUBG Mobile. This game is the mobile version of PUBG. You need an emulator to run this on PC. When I play this game, it seems like I was playing ROS because the environment and basic controls are so similar. Anyway, on Athlon 2 X4 635, the average FPS is 27, while on Athlon 2 X2 250, it is 20 average FPS, with an increase of performance of 35%. Valorant. This is a recently released title in 2020. I observed that when I use low-end systems, there is this indicator on the upper right corner that indicates low client FPS. Maybe you will be paired with low FPS players. I hope so. Anyway, on Athlon 2 X4 635, the average FPS is 63, while on Athlon 2 X2 250 is 54, with an increase of performance of 17%. guys i think this game is capped to 60 fps because the game does not go higher to 60 fps even i use more powerful pc since it's launched last october 2020 i think the game is more optimized to run especially on low end system anyway the two processor have the same average fps which is 60. <laughs> Fortnite. On Athlon 2 X4 635, the average FPS is 49, while on Athlon 2 X2 250 is 41, with an increase of performance of 19%. While I was recording this game using the Athlon 2 X4, I have rendering delays on structures and stutters. However, when I stopped recording and using MSI Afterburner and props and I played it again, I had no issues and the game was very playable. In addition, in playing using Athlon 2 X2 250, the rendering issues are there even if there are no programs running in the background. It's hard to find weapons because you cannot get inside with those structures that are not fully rendered. And even if it delivers playable frame rates in numbers which is 41 average FPS, I will still say that it's not playable because of those issues. I think Fortnite works better with CPUs that has more cores and threads.
The Witcher 3, since this game has good graphics, it's safe to say that it is a GPU-intensive title. Anyway, both processor delivered playable frame rates in this title. On Athlon 2 X4 635, the average FPS is 60, while on Athlon 2 X2 250 is 41, with an increase of performance of 46%. In conclusion, AMD Athlon 2 X4 635 is an upgrade option if you already have AM2 Plus or AM3 socket motherboard. Before you upgrade, check the model of your motherboard and search for the compatible processor. If ever this processor is not compatible with your motherboard, don't worry, there are many Athlon 2 X4 models to choose from, which might be compatible to your motherboard. As I checked the price of this processor, the Athlon 2 X4 in Shopee and Lazada, the price is around 600 to 1,500 Philippine Peso. It seems it is an affordable option to upgrade your Athlon 2 X2 rig. Now I proved that this processor, the Athlon 2 X4, is better than the Athlon 2 X2. And this processor, the Athlon 2 X4, is a better option to boost your existing AM3 system. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching.